Hey, Skyline Church, welcome to Today Matters, a short devotional in the Word of God. You know, we're on the season of Advent, and Advent is a season in the Christian church calendar that has come to mean so many things. And as the church has celebrated the season of Advent for thousands of years, the biblical themes of hope, love, joy, and peace are often highlighted in the Christmas story. One of my favorite themes to think about during the Christmas season is peace. Now, we often think of peace as the absence of conflict. We want to see peace around the world, or peace in the Middle East was a common theme for many, many years. And by that, we meant to see that there's no more fighting in that region. We want a peace treaty. And peace certainly means the absence of conflict, or can. But the biblical theme of peace goes much deeper. The Hebrew word for peace is shalom. And shalom is not simply the absence of conflict. In God's economy, shalom is wholeness, or to be complete. And certainly, being at peace is part of that equation. But living in a way that represents no brokenness and wholeness is so much bigger than simply having no conflict in your life. Colossians 1, 19-20 says this, For God was so pleased to have his fullness dwell in him, that's Jesus, and through Jesus to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace, or shalom, through his blood shed on the cross. Colossians says that Jesus came to make peace, or shalom, and to bring wholeness through his blood shed on the cross. Jesus came to make all things right and whole and complete. If you are a Christian, you have been made whole or complete by the blood of Jesus. You have peace. And at the same time, you have had conflict in your life. In other words, it's, it's possible to be whole or to be complete even in the midst of conflict. Nobody wants conflict. But having peace is about how we respond to the conflict. Isaiah 9 and 6 is a messianic prophecy about Jesus, and it says this. For unto us a child is born. To us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. But Jesus was still the Prince of Peace even when he was being crucified. Major conflict. And yet, Because Jesus was whole and complete, he was the Prince of Peace in the way he responded to the conflict. He responded with love and forgiveness to those who crucified him, thus bringing wholeness to a massively broken situation. Jesus is the Prince of Peace, the one who carries the power to make all things new and to bring wholeness where he sees brokenness. This Christmas, as you think about why Jesus came, I hope that you think about God's desire to make you and all things whole. A lot of things in our world have been designed to take things away and to bring division so that you feel fractured, incomplete, not whole. Ultimately, Satan's desire is to bring so much conflict you disconnect from the peace or the shalom that Jesus bought and desires for you with his blood. I love that Matthew 9, Jesus says, blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the children of God. Peace or shalom or wholeness is something that God's people are to be known for. Jesus brought peace and proclaimed peace everywhere he went. And he says that you and I will be called children of God if we're aware of the brokenness and the lack of wholeness around us with a desire to make peace. One of the ways you can be a peacemaker is to tell the people about the wholeness you have felt and experienced since you've given your life to Jesus. There are people in your oikos right now that are searching for that wholeness and peace. They found other things to complete them, and they need to know that the only one who can complete them and bring them the wholeness is Jesus. So today, pay attention to the brokenness you see around you. And do your best to walk in the peace of God so much that you bring peace with you 
everywhere you go. Skyline Church, invite the people in your life who need peace to church and to one of our Christmas Eve services today because today matters.